Really? Okay. You look right. great, by the way. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I actually took the time to do my makeup and hair. I go, you know, it might be, it's a special night. It's good. Let's take a shower and like, you know. <laughs> no, you clean up good. I can't. Thank you. Thank you. I, I try because I do too much. Um, well, I just produced a movie called Detained in the Desert, which is based on my play. And it's a play. It's a film in protest to SB 1070. It deals with the ridiculousness of the, this uh, uh, racial profiling law. But it also deals with hate crime and and the connection between hate talk and hate crime on the radio and in the media. And it's a, it's also it's looking at uh, what ha you know the deaths in the desert. But it's kind of a very different take on the typical story of you know Latino guy in the desert. Because I think everyone's trying to tell that story, but Hollywood will not make that story. So I had to find a way, and I had to find my own money and make this movie. And so we're gonna finish it. Um, like the, Second weekend of March. We're gonna to try to get into Khan and try to get it, you know, we're waiting to hear from Tribeca and trying to get distributed and if this works, I can have money to finance more movies. And and really like one of my goals is to get Latina directors. Because yeah, there are movies about Latinos, but they're always about if they're not about like the guy bitch slapping a Latina here and there or like sexualizing a Latina, you know, like even though movies are about Latinos, Latina women still get degraded. And so I kind of feel like unless Latinas are directing, unless Latinas are producing the directing, we don't have control of our image and our content. Right. I was going to ask you exactly about that because this is a celebration of a, a positive portrayal of Latinos. And uh, I asked a couple of actors about whether they always have to turn down roles because they're always getting the same some of them cholo gangbanger. Some of them, not you and me, um, have their own sexism. They have to put in check and I personally know and so some of them so sometimes I go you know I personally know that as a Latina I've been told by producers that say you know I really want to work with you but I want to work with this Latino actor because we're with you because you're a feminist and these are like famous male actors which I go why does a Jewish guy support me like a Jewish producer is more supportive of my work and what I have to say than and, and it's sad because I don't want to criticize but sometimes I go you know what Latinas are still going to be Gucci mamas in Latino films so we got to produce our own, write our own. Right, yeah, write your own, because yeah. you're a writer, so you have like, actually... You know, every time I, I watch a Latino film, I'm like... And then I see the, like, the, you know, the... The Gucci Mama stereotype, like the eroticized Latina, like the eye candy. And I go, why couldn't you have given her her humanity? The same way you, as a Latino male, demand your humanity and your story. Why couldn't you have given her? Maybe you're just a bad writer, but, you know, maybe that's it. Thank you, that's great. All right.